Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be making a family favorite dessert. Yes. Most times, you know, when you talk about family recipes that are passed down from generation to generation, we don't have too many of those, but this involves is one of them. Marshmallows. And anything that involves marshmallows is worth eating. It's so good. It's actually one of our favorites. I've been making it since high school. And I remember the first time that you had it, you were like, oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. addictive. It is. It's very Caution. addictive. Caution. You may have to go to rehab after you have this. <laughs> it's so good. I will say though, when you make it, it tastes good hot, but my preference is like after it, we put it in the fridge yeah. for a, a couple hours and it's then it better. like melts together and it tastes kind of like ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah. And it sticks together better. You can basically grab a bar and... And eat it. Yep. So anyway, let's get right into let's it. Let's get to it. So girls, what are we going to make today? Rocky Road Bars! <laughs> we are making Rocky Road Bars today! Yay! Okay, so we have all of our main ingredients here. Oh, we need that. So we've got graham cracker crumbs. We've got our marshmallows, two different kinds because having creamed marshmallows is like my favorite way of making it. And then sweetened condensed milk. Chocolate chips, I like to use the semi-sweet chocolate chips. Unsweetened flaked coconut and slivered almond. Shredded coconut. What did I call flaked. it? Oh, flaked, shredded. Flaked is for tuna, not for coconut. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, this dessert is very low in sugar. So disclaimer, it is not low in sugar. It's very high in sugar. Okay, so so be one. careful Pour and inside. always use moderation. Okay, so first we're gonna take one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs and we're gonna put it in a bowl. Cz, you can do the last one. Isn't it coming out? You can do the last, it's all out, sweetie. You can do the last one. All right, big girl. Kate. And because it is such a sweet dish, you guys, we always kind of need to remember, especially during the Ramadan, um, we're fasting, so you don't just want to kind of dump a whole bunch of sweets into your stomach after you fasted for the whole day. Um, same reason why we don't drink soda. Well, in general, we don't drink soda or pop or soda pop. Um, just because it's, well, for one, it's not healthy. And for two, after your body has been fasted all day, that the best thing you can do is hydrate with water and eat healthy food. So that's why we're not going to encourage you guys to break your fast with the Rocky Road Bar, no matter how bad you really want to. It's best to just take something healthy. Dates is a favorite of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, that's usually around the world, you will find that Muslims will break their fast with a few dates and a glass of water. Um, and then usually, not always, but they'll pray the Maghrib prayer. The, the, basically the prayer when the sun goes down and then they will feast. So again, stay healthy and yeah, I'm sorry that we're doing this <laughs> because you're gonna wanna go and run to the grocery store to get all these ingredients. But after you eat it, you can thank us later. So girls, why don't we drink soda pop? Um, it is not healthy for us and it is haram. What? <laughs> it's, it's not, not haram. <laughs> But it's not healthy for us, right? So we should always make sure we take care of our bodies, especially what goes inside of them, hey? Yes. Yep. So we're gonna pour melted butter. Again, Whoa. strictly healthy. Very healthy. And then mix it all up. You guys wanna mix? Easy wanna yeah. mix first? I've all this, if you feel like it's too liquidy, you can go ahead and add some more ground cracker crumbs. I think I might add a little bit more. And if you feel it's too dry, you can always do the opposite. Exactly. Okay, now me. It's not a very precise recipe, guys. Mm -hmm. You can kind of fudge it as you need. Okay, let me see if I can do the, the heavy work. Yeah. Oh, marshmallow. Okay, she's, she's asking for marshmallows. Oh, you want one? Yeah, she okay. wants to eat one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. These are our absolute favorite halal marshmallows. Kids want to break into the marshmallow bag a little bit ahead of schedule, so we will <laughs> we'll allow that. So we love campfire marshmallows. I said it again. <laughs> campfire marshmallows, not mushrooms. Don't use mushrooms in this recipe, guys. It's not gonna turn out good if you do. Um, this is our favorite brand. Get the little halal certification there. Um, you know, being that I kind of 
lived on both sides of the marshmallow line, the um, non-Islamic marshmallow side and the Islamic or the halal marshmallow side. I can tell you that campfire marshmallows and there's no affiliation between us and them. These are by far the best and closest to the actual, real, yummy marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in terms of the graham cracker crumbs, when, it, like I said, you can kind of eyeball it, but when you can kind of press down with your spoon and it kind of makes a mold like that, that's when you know that the it's ready. That's, that, that's when you know when it's ready to do. Okay, so I have a, what is this called? A clear baking? The casserole bake. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I had a bit of a brain fart there. <laughs> FYI, or a question is who actually makes casseroles? I don't know. I don't know. Who does? I've anyway, so I got one of these. I think it's a medium size. It could be a large. I'm not exactly too sure. Anyways, I'm going to take the graham cracker crumbs and you can see, like I said, you can press down with a spoon and see that you can mold it. So this is going to be the crust of our Iraqi road bars. So I'm just going to pour all of that into here. Just take a look. Oh. I'm just going to spread the graham cracker crumbs all across the pan and you can take a spatula or you can take your fingers, whatever you prefer, and press down the crust. And you want to make sure that it's like really well pressed down. If you need to add more graham crackers crumbs, then you can. Um, but I think this one should be enough for us. Are they eating their marshmallows now? Yeah. Are they yummy? For those of you who may have the question, who haven't heard us answer the question before, no, kids aren't required to fast in the month of Ramadan. Yes. Therefore, they get the marshmallows and I don't. <laughs> I bet you're drooling though. And it smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. So, I think that's like the hardest part about Ramadan is... Having kids? Cooking and baking. Good yet, like smelling food, like really good smelling food. Are you gonna do that for me? Thank you. You're too slow. Um, and not being able to eat it. That's like the hardest part. This even this smells good. Like the mm -hmm. graham crackers smooshed up. How are those marshmallows, girls? We're done now, and they taste so good. Yes. Fine. So the first layer that goes on, William's trying to make, make it, it like it's snowing. It looks like it's snowing. <laughs> is the flaked? Is it? It's not right? flaked. It's not flaked. What is shredded. it? Shredded. Shredded. Okay. <laughs> shredded coconut. Wait, put your flaked tuna. Make sure on that there. it's unsweetened though, because otherwise you're just gonna make this into a sugar rush. So try to cool. get the unsweetened kind, and do about half a cup to a cup, kind of around there. So it currently looks like this, and you want to just kind of cover it all up. Girls want to do the rest? Yeah. Now we're going to do the chocolate chips. Okay, then we're going to go in with semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, and again, try to go with semi-sweet, not milk chocolate, or you're going to have too much of a sugar rush. I think the girls want to do that part. Girls, you want to do this part? Yeah. Wow. Sprinkle, try to, make, try to make them even. Yeah, do what Z's doing. Okay, not in the same spot. So we're just going to sprinkle the chocolate chips right on top all on top of the right. coconut. Do you like chocolate chips? Yeah, I need one. <laughs> can we have one, Mommy? Yeah. They're not super sweet, but yeah, you can totally They're still have yummy. One. Yum. Uh oh Back in the day <laughs> when one, Daddy was growing up and we didn't have much money to buy chocolate bars and all that fancy stuff. Yeah. We did get chocolate chips. Did you? Yeah. That's kind of cool. It wow. tastes so good. We just good. stole them from the fridge. <laughs> Now, the actual recipe calls for walnuts, but he doesn't like walnuts, so we don't do walnuts in this house. Nobody likes walnuts. <laughs> so we basically replace all of our walnut recipes with almonds, and so I personally like to have the slivered, is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, slivered almonds. I wanna mm. make sure I'm using the right terminology, because mm. William's gonna call me out. Because? He's gonna call me out for that. So we're gonna grab some of these, and actually, we're just gonna check this whole bag in, because having almonds is a good thing. Of course. Yeah. Can you just put it in a bowl when, yeah, when it's easier? I'll just cover it. Okay, watch out. Yep. Now comes my favorite part. So we grew up in a really small town uh, in British Columbia. And when we lived there, the only marshmallow that we could have that was halal was creamed marshmallows because it's not actually marshmallows. And so 
like my whole life when I would make this recipe, I would just use the creamed marshmallows. But now that we live here in Toronto, we do have access to actual marshmallows. So we're gonna do a mix of both because I personally love having both. So we're gonna Some open. <laughs> I used to, when I was a kid, I used to like take a spoon and like, I used to like take a spoon and like actually eat this. Like, like you could find this on my mouth all the time when I was a kid. I would just like go in the cupboard. So what goes first, the marshmallows or the fluky marshmallows? So we'll do the creamed first. This is actually like, not gonna lie, it's, it's hard to get it on because it's so sticky. So you kind of have to like wet your fingers and like add dollops of it onto the layers. So it's so sticky. This is what it looks like when I say sticky. I mean like really sticky. So I'm gonna take big spoonfuls and I did wet my fingers so that it's just easier for it to kind of slide off, but I'm just gonna do dollops kind of around the whole thing. <laughs> it's so yummy, it's marshmallow. <laughs> See, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like little fangs, marshmallow fangs. <laughs> Last step. Before cooking, is to add sweet and condensed milk. Right. So this is gonna kinda, it's gonna marry all of the ingredients together. So this is kind of what holds it all together. Um, so you're just gonna pour this really generously all over the whole thing, the entire can of it. Wow, so here we go. <laughs> So just pour it kind okay. of like in the corners as well. Yeah. So if you're working with just the creamed marshmallows, you don't have to cover it with foil, but I do notice that when I when we use the small marshmallows to do this recipe, um, they tend to burn a lot quicker. So cover it with a little bit of foil for the first 10 minutes or so. Um, and you're gonna throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes in total. So in the last 10 minutes, I'll take this off. And you'll know that it's done when it's got like that golden brown kind of color on top. And into the oven. <laughs> so Miss Amina over here, I think you're done eating the marshmallows. Yeah, I, I did finish eating the marshmallow cream, but Zaina said I look like a snowman because it's white. <laughs> okay, so I just took the foil off. It's been 10 minutes. That's kind of what it looks like. And you're gonna leave it in for another 10 until it's golden brown. And once it's golden brown, you can take it out and let it sit for a little bit because it'll be really, really hot. And then you can start enjoying. Now you can tell that it's getting golden brown on top. So in about a minute or so, I will take it out. Okay, so I just removed it from the oven. It smells so good. Oh my God, let me just show you. <laughs> Look at that. So at this point, you can see all of the marshmallows have melted and the condensed milk has settled in. You can see the crust has formed really well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just let it sit for a little bit. And once it sits for a little bit, it'll kind of melt a little bit more, but you don't wanna eat it when it's too hot. Are you excited? Super excited, can't wait. Another four-ish hours. <laughs> Alrighty, so it has cooled down and now it's perfectly ready for me to cut it. So I'm going to cut it into little cubes and show you what it looks like. So fair warning you guys, it is very sticky as you can see. So when you're cutting it, it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay because the taste is what matters most. I mean like look at this, oh my goodness. Isn't that amazing? This is what it looks like in all of its glory. So delicious, you've got the chocolate chips all melted, the marshmallows all melted and the crust on the bottom, it's just so good. Doesn't it look so good? It looks good and it smells yummy. Doesn't it smell so yummy? Yep, that's why I'm working. <laughs> to get away from it, because it smells too good. So what do you think, Amina? The lucky little bars are good. It's so good? What about you, Z? Yummy. Is it yummy? All right, well, moment of truth. The absolute moment of truth. Oh. We had to wait till the kids were asleep because, you know, Oh my goodness. All right. Bismillah. Mm. 